I think that worked. I'm back. Welcome back to part two of 20 of my favorite movies that are on Netflix right now for you to watch. Um, if you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend going and watching that first, then come back here and watch this video. Uh, speaking of that title, it has come to my attention um, that some of these movies aren't on Netflix anymore. So, <laughs> sorry guys, uh, that's my bad. There is only one movie in this episode that is not on netflix anymore and it's the very first one but that's all i gotta say um if you guys would consider subscribing that would mean so much um but let's get back to the movies so um this movie's about an ogre I mean, I feel like the same thing goes for Jurassic Park. I feel like it's the definition of the word classic when it comes to films. It is probably one of the most recognized movies ever. The music in it is incredible. The effects in it are incredible. If you haven't seen the episode of the movies that made us on Netflix, which is also on Netflix, which is also a part of this video. If you haven't seen the behind the scenes episode of the movies that made us for Jurassic Park, just watch it. Just watch Jurassic Park, Steven Spielberg, goaded dinosaurs. The social network, I feel like it's one that like you've heard the name of before, but it doesn't have like a ginormous audience. Uh, I may be completely wrong though. So the social network is about the creation of Facebook um, and about just kind of like the rise and fall of Mark Zuckerberg and his partner who is played by Andrew Garfield, who I do not remember the name of. Jesse Eisenberg, Andrew Garfield. Justin Timberlake for some reason? It's really cool. It's really well shot. It's incredibly acted. Um, the story is really gripping. You know, you'd think a movie about the creation of Facebook wouldn't really be all that interesting. But I tell you, it's a very good story. It's one that you need to see. And I really hope that you like. Because I feel like it's an important story to tell. Taxi Driver is an absolute classic in the world of film noir. One of, I will not say the best, I, I, I would never say the best, but it's one of Scorsese's best movies. I feel like it's probably Scorsese's best performance as well, right behind Shark Tale. Uh, I mean, Robert De Niro did an incredible job with it. He actually worked as a taxi driver for like a couple weeks leading up to filming so that, you know, he could understand the lifestyle of a New York City taxi driver and how to be a psychotic maniac. It's it's a movie that kind of confuses you a little. No, I won't say confuses. It just kind of like catches you off guard. You know, you think it's about a taxi driver and then all of a sudden he turns into something that's not a taxi driver no more. You know, give it a watch. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda is probably the staple of DreamWorks animation second to Shrek, obviously. It's Kung Fu Panda. Like it's Jack Black. It's... A bunch of other people that for some reason I can never remember who they are, but they're all very famous. Uh, it, it's a really heartwarming story of just, you know, Big Panda becomes Kung Fu Master and skadooshes a tiger off the face of the planet. Kung Fu Panda, please go watch it again. You, I know you've seen it, um, but just go watch it again because it's on Netflix and, you know, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice relaxing watch. Interstellar. Uh, another movie by Christopher Nolan. I mean, the guy doesn't miss. Except for Tenet. Interstellar is, like, an incredible story of, like, just space and space exploration. But it's also just about family and about the struggles of fatherhood. It, it makes me shed tears. It's, like, confusing in the time jumps that you're doing. Again, Christopher Nolan with time jumping movies. Tenet is so bad, bro. It, it's a really gripping story. Like at the end of the day, it's really sad and it's just really interesting. And I think that's worth giving it a watch. <laughs> the Blair Witch Project. This is the only movie on this list uh, that I have not seen. What I have seen from it, from extensive YouTube videos watching it when I was younger because, you know, I was scared of it. I was too scared to watch the movie, so I just watched Matt Pat talk about it in a film theory. Uh, it's an incredible, 
like an incredibly creative use of camera and horror and like the whole first person camcorder stuff really freaks me out like really bad so i think that may be why i'm like excited to watch it i'm gonna watch it eventually if you guys want to watch the blair witch project with me comment in the video comment in the in the i was gonna say the description comment in the comment section let me know that you want to watch it with me and you'll come to my house and we'll watch it. Rocket Man is a really cool look into the career of Elton John and Taryn Egerton, I think that's his name? Taryn Egerton does a really good job of portraying Elton John um, and just kind of like all the different phases of his career from childhood, obviously he doesn't play him when he's a child. From childhood all the way until basically I mean, I won't say the end of his career, because technically he hasn't ended his career yet. Because, you know, him and Dua Lipa, the combo of the century. But yeah, it, it's a really it's a really good representation of his career. I'm not a big fan of musicals whatsoever, but this one implements all of its musical numbers really well with the story. And, you know, it doesn't feel like a big theatrical musical. It just feels like a movie with a couple song breaks in it. <laughs> Step Brothers is one of the greatest comedy movies uh, of all time. I'll just put that there. Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, potentially the greatest comedic actors uh, ever. Step Brothers has some of the most quotable lines of dialogue. It has a story that, for some reason, every time I forget little parts of it. So when I watch the movie again, it's like I'm watching it for the first time in those areas. And I laugh just as hard, if not harder. But it's so funny. It's hilarious. Like, I can't, I can't express it enough. You need to watch it. Please, please watch it. Not with your parents. But watch it. Get some homies together. Watch Step Brothers. <laughs> Uh, and number 20, the last movie on our list, uh, is The Hunger Games. And I feel like this can kind of just be like the whole Hunger Games franchise as a whole. It's, you know, one of the most popular books, especially for like my age demographic. Like when we were younger, someone you know has read The Hunger Games. I'm currently reading it. I'm on page like 10. But The Hunger Games, you know, is the origin of Fortnite. It's the origin of like the Battle Royale story. I'm personally a big sucker for things like that. It's got a lot of the dystopian aspect that, you know, a lot of people are looking for. It's it's a really cool story. It's got really great action sequences. I think it's shot pretty well. I mean, it's The Hunger Games. Like, you've heard of The Hunger Games. So why haven't you watched it yet? Come on. So... There we go. Those are 20 of my favorite movies that are on Netflix right now. Obviously, there are a ton of good movies on Netflix. Please, you know, go check these movies out. Go watch more movies. The more movies you watch, the more cultured you become, and the more you appreciate the art of cinema. Or maybe, you know, you just have a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I really want to do videos like this for other streaming services. Uh, you know, I don't have access to all of them, but when I do get access to more of them, I'd like to make more videos. So please, you know, put in the comments what streaming services you'd like me to do next. Um, maybe if I miss some movies that you think are incredible movies and you say to yourself, Owen, how on earth did you miss these, you absolute imbecile freak? Uh, put those in the comments too. You know, if you guys like this video, if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would really mean the world to me. I try to put a lot of effort into these videos. I try to get you guys content that you enjoy. Uh, so if you're not enjoying it, let me know and I'll shut up and I'll just stop. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I got other stuff coming. So, you know, stick around uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.